most important commands you can ever teach your dog is a recall. Means come back when I call you. This command is important for two really big reasons. One, it can save your dog's life in an emergency. There have been innumerable times when a dog runs away from you and is maybe heading out onto a road or rushing to meet another dog and you don't want that to happen. The only way you can get your dog to stop and come back is if your dog knows a recall command. A recall command can be your dog's name with a command. So it could be Max, come. Or it could just be even your dog's name. So when you say your dog's name, it doubles up as a recall command. Ideally, I'd like to have it as a separate command because you don't want the name to be used all over the place. Because sometimes we'd like to say the name without wanting the dog to come back. We might just want to get the dog's attention. The second most important reason to teach your dog this command is to give him freedom. If you want to take your dog to a garden or park or leave him free to play anywhere, the only way we can safely do that is to know that our dogs will come back when called. So this is what typically happens with teenage dogs, right? We take them out somewhere, we leave them and we say, go play, have a wonderful time. When it's time to call the dog back, if your dog doesn't know how to come and you keep calling and calling and he's running here, running there, it takes you half an hour to catch the dog, you're exhausted. Or maybe the dog ran out and nearly got hit by a car or something horrible could have happened. So what happens is one or two of such experiences, you have a pet parent quickly saying, I don't think I can leave you free to play anymore. From now on, all your exercise will be on the leash. All dogs need that freedom to run and play. You can give it to your dog by teaching a recall. And it's not rocket science, it's just one of the easiest things we can teach. Here are a couple of tips and some of my secrets on how to do a recall to make it so strong that no matter what your dog is doing, he should drop it and come back to you. So first step would be you can get your treats, you can take toys, something which makes us look more appealing to the dog. Right? So here's what we're going to do. You can show it to the doggy, so you can say, look at the treat that I've got and call. When you call your dog in the early stages of the training, make sure you're smiling and you're fun. Please don't be boring. So if you're going to go, here, come, Snuggles, what are you doing? Come here. I wouldn't come if you called me like that. So we want it to be Snuggles, what are you doing? We're having fun. Come, come, come. You want the dog coming to you saying, wow, this is a lot of fun. I should go to her. This is how you will reward the recall. You will first smile, touch the dog, and say good girl or good boy to the dog, and then give it the food treat or the toy that you're using. The toy ideally don't just give, play a game with it. What you want to teach the dog is when the dog comes back to you, there's a lot of fun that happens. Don't make it about you come back and you can get a piece of food or you get a toy. Because that, in the long run, will never be powerful enough for a solid recall that you might need in real life. For example, if your dog say, running after another dog, you want a powerful recall. And I'll tell you this, the most powerful reward you'd have is the dog coming back to you because you have become so much fun to be with. Food and toys won't be that powerful in the long run. So use yourself, put yourself into the picture as the biggest reward. Don't over practice recalls. I see people doing 20 repetitions a day, every day. Please don't do that. Two, three every day is more than enough. It's always in training, remember quality over quantity. Any day. Do three good ones and stop at that if you have to. As you progress your recall training, so initially start in the house, get it sorted. You must eventually start moving outdoors. So I get a lot of people say, in the house he comes back, if I show him food he'd come back, but outside he's deaf, which is not what we want. So as soon as your dog starts listening to you indoors, start taking the training outside. And here's how you shift from the bribe stage. See, what we often get stuck with is we say, look what I've got, come to me. So you get a dog that says, first show me what you've got, then I'll come to you. And this is what I want you to do cleverly in training. Once your dog knows how to come back, the next session, this is what you do. Keep three treats in your hand ready. Show them. So say, look what I've got. Come, dog comes, lots of love, gets a treat. Then you show him that your hands are empty. Treats are gone. But without the dog's knowledge, I have three hidden in my back pocket. Now I'm going to take five steps away and call the dog. 
But you'll have a dog sometimes saying, you've not got anything, should I come to you? So you might have to coax, come on then, come on, get the dog to come. When the dog finally comes, lots of love and produce the treat from the back pocket. Now we want to teach the dog this. You'll get the treat, you'll get the reward. But you may never see it on me before you get it. You have to have trust and faith. And so with your recall, you must start with the early stages, but eventually move your training outside, practice it outside. If you're not sure or it's not a safe environment, please have your dog on a long leash or long line. So your dog cannot run anywhere out of that zone and get hurt. So recalls are important. You should work your way through distractions. Start in the house, then maybe downstairs in your building lobby, then maybe in the building compound, eventually moving maybe to a park where there are people as distractions, dogs as distractions. If you can teach your dog this, leave whatever you're doing, leave playing with another dog and come back to me. Can you imagine how wonderful that dog's life would be? He can run, he can play, he can go anywhere because you know in case he needs to come back, you have that command well practiced. So let's get down and start your recall command.